Hey guys, it's Nisa and I'm here to show you this makeup look. And I wouldn't really say it's like an everyday look, but it's just a look that I know for me it always looks good. And it's pretty much just a basic brown eyeshadow and some little bit contouring because I have some triple cheeks. I mean, they've slimmed down over the years. Thank you. But yeah, so to know how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. Roll the clip get the movie started hey so let's get started okay to start off I'm just priming my eyes with this matte paint pot in painterly and I'm just put it on both my eyelids next I'm taking this peanut butter color from the semi-sweet chocolate bar by Too Faced and I'm just applying that with a fluffy brush in the crease as a nice transition color And then I just continue to blend and more blending. That way it just spreads out nicely. Next I'm taking this matte shade and kind of blending it in. And it's called Mousse and Rum Raisin from Too Faced. And then I just blended in with more of a precise fluffy brush. And then I went back over with Truffle to add some dimension. Then with the clean blending brush, I'm just blending in all those colors together. That way I get a nice, smoky effect. Next, I'm taking a creased brush and blending in hot fudge very lightly to add a really cut crease effect to the smoky eye. Now I'm just adding in some of that mousse color just to blend in the darker color we just applied into the crease. For the lid, I'm using Caramel and Bon Bon and mixed it with the lid brush. And I'm really patting it onto my lid instead of sweeping it. That way the color can be more vibrant onto the lid. Next, I'm just highlighting my brow bone with coconut cream. Moving on to the face, I'm priming it with NYX Angel Veil and I'm just putting it on my cheeks, on my nose, and on my forehead. And then I noticed I had this huge pimple on my cheek, but we all get them, so it's whatever. I'm taking my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation and I'm just applying it with a beauty blender just because that's the best way to get a flawless face and I don't put a lot on I just do enough to even out my skin tone and to cover up that pimple and fix my dark under eyes I'm applying some concealer And then I'm just blending it out with the blending sponge again. For days when I really don't look awake, I like to prime my eyes with the matte prep and prime. I just put it in downward triangles onto my skin, down the bridge of my nose, and kind of like a flower on my forehead. And then after that, I just blend it out again with the same beauty blender. To set the concealer and highlighting, I'm setting it with the new Too Faced contour book and using the lightest shade and just really patting that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and anywhere else I highlighted. For my cheekbones, I'm using the cool tone shade and a thinner angled 
brush is just lightly contouring from my tip of my ear to the corner of my eye. To up my face a little more, I'm taking that more orange tone shade and a bigger brush to kind of blend it out and going over my forehead, my nose, and pretty much just blending in all the cool tone places I put. For blush, I'm taking this big fluffy brush and just lightly patting on some of that pink blush onto my cheeks. For eyeliner, I'm using the Their Real Pusher Blender from Benefit. And this was so hard to apply on camera. But what I like to do is match it up with the corner of my nose to the corner of my eye. And then I kind of make a triangle and then just follow it through the center. And then fill in any of the blank spots and making sure it's nice and smooth. And then once you get closer to the inner corner of your eye, you really want to make sure the lines are really thin. That way it opens up the eyelid and it's not like a big rectangle black eyeliner across your eye. Then to finish the eyes, I'm applying my Urban Decay Mascara all over those lashes. And then for lips, I'm just adding this mauve pink color from Revlon and just stabbing it on there. And then I start making really weird faces. And I don't know why I made those weird faces, but I did. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope this, this makeup tutorial helped you in your everyday routine. And maybe you could take some tips from it. I mean, this is just what I do. It's nothing really special. But I wanted to share it with you guys. So subscribe, like, so you don't miss out any more. And make sure you check out my website at nisafashionisa.com And I usually post some other makeup stuff or outfit stuff like during the week. So thank you so much for watching. Bye!